Here's a great tip about holding your stance, whether it's front stance or your combat stance. Stay with your knees slightly bent, focus on the target, and just feel that weight distribution moving from front to back, and everything will feel absolutely amazing. Okay, now we're really going out there. So out there, we're in the space. You're gonna see the planet of Earth from a whole new perspective. Let's warm up our full body now. Starting a wide front stance, no power. Jab on the left, jab on the right. Let the hip and heel release as you perform these strikes. Can you hit the center of the target? Yep. Let's think precision. Jab, jab and slip. Jab, jab and slip. Love that one. Now as you slip, keep your feet where they are. We just want to get the shoulders moving out the way. This warms up the muscles of our abdominals. Keep your elbows in in a high guard position as you do slip. It just helps you to strike efficiently when the next target comes at you. And it warms up the shoulders and the muscles of the back. Okay, uppercuts, left and right. Vertical strike, driving directly up. Good opportunity now to sit in the move for a little while. We can use the legs, rotate inwards, and as we jab, we stay in that upright front stance position. So roll forward, roll forward, roll forward, and then lift up. Nice. Let the shoulders feel like they are rolling back and forward. Right, let's mix it back up again. Hooks left and right. Let's go back to those slips. Now the hooks are really interesting. Let's get the elbow in line with the shoulder and then actively, I like to think exaggerate that hip and heel rotation. Great. Now we want to squat out the way. Yeah, stay down, stay down. Let's warm up the muscles of the quads and the glutes. Quickly pop up, quickly sit back down. T-strike, get out of the way. Stand up, sky punch. So squat, stand up and strike. Squat, stand up, and strike. Beautiful. Open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Great way for warming up your upper body now. Let's repeat. Stand up, get down. What you find is when you start doing things like squats and multiple squats in a row, your heart rate lifts. It's like you warm up things like your knees and all of that, like, oh, I just want to move. This feels really, really great. But Rach has got something special for you. That's right, the diagonal left knee. So reach to the corner, grab, pull, strike. Now the opposite corner. So yeah, take your body over to the side, feet stay wide, transfer the weight to the leg you're standing on, and then feel that side crunch. Elbows close, pull down. Through the core, driving the hip with the heel close to the butt. Yeah, yeah, good job. All right, upper cuts. To the finish, we're gonna lift the heart rate so we really truly are ready for our workout to start. Finishing this warm up a little bit warmer and a whole lot more ready. Incoming, finish it. Wee. Warm up, over. Let's bring our A game, target practice. Wide, front stance, high left, high right, let's go. Down, down, up, up. Again, to the corners, drop it. Now, these corner strikes, they're sharp jabs from front stance, and those strikes that are coming down, they're power jabs, but going low. They're not hammer fist. So treat it like a jab, nail it like a jab, and bring your best self. Grab for left knee, grab for power right knee, now, battle rope slam. Quick ones, T-strike. Quick one, step pull back. Step pull back, beautiful. Drop down, drop down. Down, out, and down, go again. Ooh, 3% faster. Feel it. Put it in your body. How's that? And slow down. 
So that's the game. We go from pure concentrated power to dynamic speed training. Okay, on the short range uppercut, roll your shoulders in and forward. On those high jabs, reach for it. Stretch for it. And then on those low jabs, take the elbow to the outside so you can drive down. Grab for power knee. Now on those battle rope slams, exhale out, go. Breathe out. Now quick ones, go. Yeah. I know you can nail this faster and harder. Now catch that rhythm. Catch the beat. Go, go. Brrrah. Go, go, go. Try and make sure your hands on the outside of your thighs. This is your last one. Rach is going to come in. Oh, yeah. So it slows down a bit to give you time to breathe, but not time to take your foot off the pedal. That means I'm talking about still pushing body weight behind every punch, every strike. I personally love a good uppercut. I can use my legs to drive out of the ground. And these corner punches, I go for speed and accuracy. And then in the downward punches, I use my legs and I lift my elbow high. Yeah, you are a boss. Let's go. Right knee. Here comes the finish line. Battle ropes. Bend your legs, get low. Now don't back up. Bring it back. Come on, sink low. Inhale, exhale. Contract the core. Every time you throw those fists down, contract the core. Exhale, crunch, crunch, and then T-punch. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Nice. Come on, you got tempo. You got accuracy. You got speed. You got power. Corners. Now you got swag. Yeah, that's right. Boxing and rhythm go together. Like a hand in a glove and birds of a feather. Grab, pull, strike. Battle ropes. We're down up. We're down up. We're hitting strong. We're hitting long. Last 10 seconds. Don't back up. Put the pressure on. Put the pressure on. T-punch. Single knee. Aye. Yeah. Good strike. All right, you've got the king and the queen taking you through this next one. Advanced leg training, starting with the power knee. Left side, you've got this, go. Grab, pull and strike, right side. You know everything there is to know about knees. You've got to lean back, brace your abs. That's going to support the lower back. Wait for the target. Come on, get your time in now. Drive the knee and breathe out. I love this song. I love the energy that this one is going to bring. You think I'm bad? You wait till race takes over. Bring your best. Bring your best. We're squatting down. Wait. Stand up, sky punch. Let's go. Down. As you know, when you're squatting, you got to push the knees out towards the little toes. Lift your chest, brace your abs. And when you hit those sky punches, drive hard. Singles. You've got your left and the right side. Look at you already, you're a professional. <laughs> Solid effort so far. All right, let's call that the warm-up, shall we? Now the big stuff starts. Let's get back into these power knees. Commit to this one. Grab, pull, strike, change side. Awesome. So you're starting in a wide base. Knees are soft. Lean away. Hips thrust forward. Bring your elbows past the line of your thigh even faster. Squat down, punches. Ooh, 11 total strikes. Then quickly stand up, double. Drop down, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Stand. Repeat it. You're feeling that beat, right? Nailing the set of the target. Get the combos, get your score. Bring it all together. Push it, push it, push it to your limit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you pounced on that one. King of the jungle. Stay down. I didn't say come up. Stay down. Burn, baby, burn. I'm out. Queen's in. Woo! Let's go. Knees, right side, left side. 
The good news is, you now know you could do this. The question is, how far do you want to take it? I heard, all the way, Rach, all the way. Maybe that was just the singers in the background. The intensity's rising, the core's firing, the cardio's coming up. We're sweating like we is in the jungle, baby! Get down! Knees out, brace the abs, double sky punch! I'm sure he says squat. Nah, I missed that one. All right, now listen, when you drive out of the ground, you have to tell your legs to squeeze all those lower body muscles. That helps bring a whole lot more power out of the lower body through your fists. Get that active retraction. Triceps, biceps, back, chest, hey! Ooh, take a breath. That was a big one, let's go knees. We're on the home straight. You're gonna drop a few knees, that's okay, that's all good. What really matters is that you don't drop out. Nobody likes to drop out. Be the underdog. Is there a dog in the jungle, Dan? There is now! Get down, 11! Elbows up, side to side. Sky punch, drop down, go! As you're sitting in that squat, make sure it is a squat. Don't cheat, don't cheat! Lower! Knees out, come on, squeeze through the outside of the glutes. Little toes into the floor, push with the heels. It ain't a race, but if it was, who's winning? Target, smash. <sighs> Sweet relief. All right, advanced training, cross coordination. We're going to start with the corners of the room. Top left corner, bottom right corner. Let's go. Top right corner, bottom left. So notice how you use the same arm. You got it? We're going to combo this move. Jab, cross. Corner. Up, down. Now start with the right arm. Oy. Now start with the left arm. But don't get too comfortable because it is advanced and it is coordination. We're going to add on. Here we go. Left, right. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Left, right. Left, right. Woo! Feel that pattern, feel that pattern. How does it work, Rach? It works when you stop thinking and you keep feeling. Flow with it, go with it, roll with it, get down! Diagonal knee. Hook it, front knee, hook it. Diagonal knee. Hook and slip, Oi! other side. So that diagonal means tip your body to the 45, reach on the 45, pull. Elbow past the rib. Let's pull. Grab, pull, strike. Turn the hip. Set the heel. Slip, slip. Nice. We're cutting angles now, folks. We're cutting angles and we're getting agile with our strikes. Not just fighting in one spot. Hook time. Okay, we've got the first bit done. Let's come into combat stands. Left foot forward. Left, right. Flow. Sit in it. Relax. But not for too long. Here comes the build up. You know it, you know it. Up, down, hook. Like what? Like this. Want to see my power? Like what? Front knee, hook, front knee. Let's put it together. Like this. Corner shot, hook it. Power knee. Turn the hip and repeat. Oish. Roll the shoulders, tuck the chin. Bend your legs as you get down to that bottom corner punch. Like you're hitting a bag on the floor, right? Put your knee on that, yes! So that bottom corner punch, you're striking down to the ground. Lift your elbow nice and high, bend your knees. Get down, quick up and hook. Quick up and jab. A little beat, pa, pa. It's fast, sharp. It's pretty sharp. Down and up, hold, stalk it, wait. Pop it out, hook. Yes, Dan. All right. Instead, all on the other side. Right leg forward. Put your dukes up. 
Let's sit in these jabs and crosses for a wee while just to get us back into the game. Oh yeah, it's gonna come at you. Real thick, real fast, it's challenging. Already the shapes have changed. Come on, go high, go low, turn the back, turn the back. And when I say turn the back, you've gotta turn your back heel. You've gotta get power, lean back. Knee it, knee it, smack it. Let's go, let's go. One and two, one and two. Up, down, and turn and drop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what, I might just write a song. I'm gonna write my own song and I'm gonna call it, oh yeah. <laughs> Remember, hit the center of the target. That's where you register the most amount of power. And if you're all up for those combos, do your very best to hit every single target without missing. It's all on you, wherever you're at. Get down, stand up. Pop, pop. Get down. Jab it. Get down. Hook it. Come on, jab it. Boom. Turn and hook. Now the finish. Boom. Awesome. Oh yeah, smiling on the inside with that 90% plus.